The main focus this week is the nature of the second language pathway. From the point of view of both the learner and the teacher, this video focuses on the idea that meaning is everything. The guiding question, how is teaching on the second language pathway different from teaching on the first? Because it is challenging to provide bilingual students with the kind of instruction they need, it is easy to fall into the trap of lowering expectations for second language learners. There's a difference between demanding that second language learners do everything that fluent English speakers do and maintaining high expectations for them that holds them accountable for demonstrating their understandings of the content at all levels of English language proficiency. The first is unrealistic. The second is necessary. One way to characterize the second language pathway is through the phrase, meaning is everything. Instruction is designed so that students can gain access to the important ideas of instruction at every level of language proficiency. When teachers focus their instructions on making meaning, they use text to represent ideas and concepts that students understand and can talk about. Connect what students are learning in subject area instruction and what they will read and write about in language arts and English language development classes. And seek materials on every topic at a range of reading levels and complexity. When students are reading in their second language, we can do many things to deepen their conceptual reservoir and build schema. Some strategies include provide an overview. Organize the plot and characters visually. Give a detailed preview of what will happen. Read the book to the students or record it for a listening center. Show the movie first. These actions will all help provide a framework for students to better make sense of the text when they are attempting to read by themselves. There are many ways teachers can support writing in a second language. For example, you could... Provide a common topic for writing for the whole class during writer's workshop with expectations differentiated by proficiency level. Work with small groups of students to co-construct joint texts and have students copy them into a journal. Use framed paragraphs and sentence stems to describe a picture. In every case, students should be given many opportunities to talk about the topic and rehearse orally what they will be writing. For students first learning to read and write, it is likely that if they can't say it, they will not be able to put their ideas down in print. What does it look like when the meaning is everything mindset is put into practice? In literacy instruction, every important comprehension thinking strategy can be worked on through the use of pictures, models, or physical interaction. Let's use the following picture to demonstrate this. If you were asked to provide a simple description of this picture, you would probably include the fact that a woman wearing sunglasses is bending over. Her hand is near the head of the sheep. More details might include the kind and color of clothing she has on, what the terrain looks like, that there are trees in the background. To demonstrate comprehension of what is going on, you might say that it looks like she is about to pet the sheep or she has just touched the sheep and took her hand back. You might predict that the sheep will bite her or will run away, or that the person who is taking the picture is telling her, enough already. You could infer that it is not winter since the trees are green, or that neither she nor the sheep are afraid of each other since they're standing so close. If asked to explain why she's about to pet the sheep, you might guess that she's an animal lover, or that she's far from home and misses her dog. If you knew the woman and her travel history, you might tap into this knowledge and infer this picture was taken in Finland, where she had recently spent a year. Finally, you could evaluate what's going on in the picture. Is it a good idea for humans to get so close to wild animals? Should sheep be allowed to roam free on islands where people hike? A good picture can be used to work on multiple strategies for thinking and comprehension. This kind of work on thinking skills is even more effective when the pictures are taken from the text that students are already using in their instruction. In this way, students can generate and be exposed to the vocabulary and connections regarding the topic 
before being asked to work on the content. Before you begin your Make It Work activity, take time to reflect on the guiding question for this week. How is teaching on the second language pathway different from teaching on the first? Write down two or three things you will take away from this week's Explore. How can you use these understandings immediately and in the long term?